Hi, I'm Sean Smith. Today we're going to take a look at a Beneteau Oceanus Yacht 62 that's here in San Diego. This boat was custom ordered and delivered with a lot of modifications and customization from the factory. Join me as we take a tour and walkthrough of this boat. We're lucky right now there's no boat in the neighboring slip so you can see the entire hull. This boat was ordered with the pearl gray gel coat from the factory. You can have either white or pearl gray. And it was also ordered with the black painted mast, which you can see has three spreaders and is 91 feet over the water. On the mast, we did a Cato stainless steel radar mount. You can see the radar dome, TV, antenna, and also a VHF um, hailer speaker are all black. And then on the first spreader, there are a couple antennas that were all painted black to match. The main sheet arch is also black and fits really well with the black styling that's uh, so popular on the Oceanus Yacht 62. But it also has a black boot stripe and black bottom paint. Up at the bow, there is a large stainless steel bow sprit and an ultra anchor that we ordered and put on here in San Diego that fits perfectly. That's the 60 uh, kilogram or 132 pound ultra anchor. This boat was ordered with the Facnor electric Genoa furler and the performance sails from the factory. A really great option are these pop-up cleats from the factory as well. They are very easy to use and we push it down it's nicely recessed so nothing's going to accidentally get caught on it and it also has the Beneteau logo etched in from the factory you can order the drop down gates on both sides of the boat so you can see here this is a ladder that folds down it comes down pretty close to the dock so when you have floating docks like this it's a nice feature to board um, but you can also drop down the transom and board from there as well, or order the boat with a passerelle, which would be on the port side if you were gonna be stern to and boarding from a higher fixed dock. In San Diego, on this boat, we extended the stern pulpit, so you'll see there's a stainless bar connecting from that gate we were just talking about all the way to the stern pulpit. That was done custom here in San Diego to give a little bit more stability as you're walking around the aft end of the deck. Here's a good shot of the transom where that styling wraps all the way around the back of the boat. And then this transom is electric, so there's a switch inboard the starboard helm to lower this down to the, to the water. So with this door open, you can see the dinghy Williams jet tender in this boat. And this transom door is actually going to go negative uh, 15 degrees down into the water to provide a launch ramp to get the dinghy in and out of the boat great feature on the Oceanus Yacht 62. Boarding on the starboard side, we'll take a look up at the bow and deck first. So on the bow there are a couple of very nice lounge cushions. These were done aftermarket here in San Diego by Memo's Custom Canvas. You can get a, a set that's a white uh, vinyl from the factory. You can also get teak decks and a teak coach roof from the factory. We chose on this boat to do the uh, standard decks, which is a nice white non-skid. And then three recessed hatches up on the bow, two are over the master stateroom, and then the forward leads into a crew cabin, which in this boat was ordered custom with double bunks. Bow, the split bow pulpit makes it really nice when you're flying an asymmetric spinnaker. So there is an attachment point uh, up on the bow. We added aftermarket an Antal ring, so you have two to one purchase with the tack line, which comes back to its own designated clutch back here. companionway beds there's a stainless steel handrail 
and a few opening hatches. This one goes into the forward head in the master stateroom. And then there are a couple opening hatches above the main salon with large window central. Just forward of that, we upgraded the speakers that come here standard. So whoever is relaxing up on the bow, this is really nice. The audio from those speakers is gonna be hear, heard very well by whoever's laying out on this cushions, but not be too loud for surrounding boats in a marina or when you're out at anchor. And then uh, there are a couple of courtesy lights up here as well. That's what this little dial is for. We also ordered this boat with the LED spreader lights from the factory. The boat looks amazing at night. Easy to find the boat at Anchorage when you have those on. An option from the factory with the electronics are these 2020 displays from B&G. As well as in-mass furling, which we opted for on this boat. You could do a standard main or in-boom furling if you chose. Coming back, I'll take a look at the canvas. This also was done by Memo's Custom Canvas here in San Diego. So we opted to do a Dodger with a connector to a bimini that is installed on near the stern pulpit. So you can remove the center section and have a nice bimini and Dodger. But we also added a full enclosure. So you can roll up a couple panels or roll up the um, entire enclosure if you choose or remove the panels entirely and have lots of air or you can fully enclose like you see on the port side right now and have a nice comfortable warm cockpit which creates another living space really when you're in the marina or at anchor. Uh, I just want to point out quickly this styling which I think worked really well since this is a large dodger there's a reinforcement through the middle and I think it looks really good on the style of the boat. And then we also use Macrolon, so this is a really rigid glass, very transparent for the Dodger. Since you're not going to roll it up, you need a little thinner cloth like this to uh, roll up. Coming back into the cockpit, we'll pan across and take a look. stations with large pedestals, lots of seating with two electric cockpit tables. So these fold out making a larger dining area or um, when they're folded up you've got four cup holders on each side and lots of handholds. This is my water bottle which even a, a large Nalgene or similar bottle fits perfectly into those cup holders. And then up next to the companionway, you have two recessed beds. All of these custom cushions give good character to the boat. The gray hull and then uh, lots of color with the canvas looks great. And then we also have piping, which is gray, matches the theme of everything in the boat. At the port side helm station, this is where you have your shore power connections coming into the boat. And on both sides you have an electric primary winch and a secondary winch with controls conveniently located. You could be sitting on either side of the boat and have quick access if you're the one at the helm to trimming either sail. Both sides of the boat have the Yanmar diesel control and a start stop button. This is an option from the factory to have the controls at the port and starboard helm station. So you can see both helm stations have a throttle as well as bow and stern thruster controls. So a stern thruster is an option from the factory um, and you can have the controls at um, just the starboard side or both which is what we've chosen to do in this 62. From B&G we have a 12 inch a multi-function display and this one right now we have it on the chart with the Sirius um, weather so you can see that's what these the shading and then the arrows showing um, current and also the bars showing the wind 
actually this is a, a really cool thing with the BNG as well. This is a picture of the actual boat that we are standing on currently with another 62 in San Diego. You can put whatever image you like on the background of these BNG multifunction displays. And then you can also insert a variety of charts. So there's a little section here to insert a, a chart. Right now we have the west coast of uh, the United States programmed in, so there's uh, data for all the marinas and ports here on the west coast. Let's move over to the starboard side. On the starboard side, you see again the throttle control, bow and stern thruster, and on both sides, there are speakers facing right at the helms person. So I think this is a creative uh, design feature from Beneteau where you have, um, you don't have to blast the music since the cockpit is so large, you have a speaker right here for the helms person. And then just outboard, we have the another Yanmar display, chain counter for your electric windlass, H5000 display, which is also on, on both sides. And then for the electric winch controls on this side, we decided in San Diego to add two buttons from Antal so that you can open this up and you could stand outboard and um, use your foot to press the electric winch button to get a better visibility of the mainsail if you chose. But these larger buttons are a nice upgrade from the smaller Harkin uh, two-speed buttons. And then on the starboard side, we have the platform switch. So this is what lowers the transom down to the water, giving us access to the dinghy garage and swim ladder. Inside the helm station, there are two storage compartments. On the port side, this is a refrigerator. And then starboard side, if you have the propane galley, this is going to be your propane storage. Otherwise, if you go with the electric galley, it would be a storage compartment. Before we enter the boat, I'll talk quickly about the electric galley option. So there are two storage compartments uh, underneath the seating here. If you would like additional storage, you can have this aft bench, all storage underneath, or an option from the factory is the pop-up electric galley. So the pop-up electric galley has a electric stove, it has a sink, and a pop-up light, as well as two cup holders. The companionway doors recess the French doors with magnets to hold them in place, and just entering the boat the, above the first step, there's an Oceanus Yacht logo etched into the stainless steel plate. Nice large companionway steps lead us into the salon. Panning across, you'll see this boat was ordered with the walnut uh, finish on the wood. This is the darker wood option. Beneteau also offers a brushed oak. Nice handrail on both sides of the companionway steps coming in. The galley is linear and off to the starboard side. In this boat we chose to have this lighter color countertop and then the walnut wood to be on the cabinetry up above the galley. So standard in this boat, there's gonna be a lacquered finish on all of these upper cabinets, but we chose to change this and Beneteau on this model will make a few custom modifications like that through a division called Beneteau Premium Service. So Beneteau Premium Service does a few things. They help you with customization of the boat and also do handovers and factory tours in France. So when this boat was being built, I went over and toured the factory and took a look at it uh, while it was in the, the pool getting ready to ship here to San Diego. But um, with the customization, they will look at any request that you make and see if it's feasible and see what the cost would be to do that. Uh, a couple of the simple things that we did were change the color of the uh, countertop, 
change the color of the cabinetry, change the color of this cabinet as well, which is normally a uh, dark gray color, but we wanted to continue with the walnut wood throughout here, uh, as well as adding fans. That's a simple modification that we did throughout the entire boat. Uh, a little bit more complicated customization that we did in this boat was move the refrigeration so standard, the refrigeration is aft in the galley, but we chose to have this compartment empty from the factory and add this vented uh, washer dryer here in San Diego. So with the refrigeration removed from this cabinet, we decided to move it forward where the factory washer dryer would typically be located, and that's here in the forward corridor. So this corridor separates the salon from the master stateroom, and it's brilliant that they have the door at a 90 degree angle. That way, with the door open, you can't see into that forward cabin. But in this corridor, you can have a small refrigerator and a uh, washer dryer as part of the standard uh, configuration of the boat. But through premium service, we were able to add this full stainless steel refrigeration. A great addition to the boat. So with premium service, if there's something custom that you want on the Oceanus Yacht 62, we simply make the request, see if it's possible, and then see what it would cost to make that modification to the boat. And then some of the changes we would do aftermarket. So a couple of custom things we did here were uh, red lights when you enter the boat. So the LED standard are white from the factory, but we chose to have this first light switch on a timer. Um, that way uh, you can come into the boat when you're cruising at night, and when you initially turn it on, that light is going to be red. So that way you have your uh, best night vision um, when, you're, when you're cruising. Um, but if you turn that switch off and back on again, it's gonna be white. So you can uh, keep it white, but inside the head and also the nav station, when you first turn on both of those switches in this boat, they're gonna be red. And that's something that we did custom here in San Diego. While we're at the nav station, we'll look at the design here with a really nice swivel chair. Good layout, you can use this as a desk. There are three storage compartments in it and then a large BNG chart plotter. And this is a cool screen um, to show right now. We have two maps, one zoomed in a little bit more than the other, and they're both showing different data. So that's something cool you can do with these multifunction displays. Uh, we have two different chart chips inserted. So this is showing the data from two separate chart chips. So it's nice to be able to see that data as well as have the overlaid weather data coming from the Sirius. So the Sirius antenna we have installed in the boat also does uh, stereo, which you can get to from the sidebar on the B&G. So right now we have the Sirius XM radio playing and I can turn it up here inside the boat. These fusion stereos are the new Apollo. So we, we actually added these in San Diego, replacing the factory stereo. Um, this is a really nice Addition, this is uh, a touch screen, very easy to operate. You can see the different sources. And then party bus also, there's a fusion stereo in the forward master cabin. And when you connect it to the party bus, you can play the same music. So they, it's, it's essentially a hub to share the same music so that they're playing in sync together. Whatever you have on the stereo, you can merge with another Apollo stereo in the boat. In the salon, there's a TV that pops up here instead of having a large TV on the forward bulkhead. I think that's a good idea. And then the salon table folds and it's electric, which is an option from the factory. So if you're dining, you can have it in a um, higher position or you can lower it with a switch and create more of a coffee table. Next to that switch is the TV lift, which you can see 
pop straight up. Clean installation. It's really nice with the TV on and, and people um, hanging out inside the salon. You can still get to the galley and no one's gonna walk right in front of the TV also. Coming forward through the corridor, we'll go into the forward master stateroom, which is gorgeous. Large centerline berth, beautiful lighting, and quite a bit of windows. A couple of small windows through that uh, upper cabin top, and then large square windows on both sides of the bed. With really nice curtains, this custom fans we had installed. And this is a nice touch from Beneteau, the uh, padding and then the thermostat electrical is all designed to match. You'll see in the aft cabin where the thermostat's installed on a white um, bulkhead, they have those in white. So it's all designed to match. Here's that other Fusion stereo. And in this boat, we install the TV on this forward bulkhead above the desk, which is an option from the factory. You can do this nice little desk, you can do storage cabinets or a small seat. And from the factory, they also offer a recessed 32 inch TV, but we decided to modify that and put in a 40 inch TV here in San Diego. This was done with uh, Alltech Yacht Solutions here in San Diego. The forward master cabin has its own private head. Love the teak and holly floors in the shower. And then the teak wood trim along the shower looks awesome as well. We put in these custom dispensers for shampoo and soap here in San Diego. Uh, from the factory, you get a really nice bowl sink. And then these are the electric heads with both salt and freshwater flush. So from the factory, there's a switch. You can either have the head use uh, raw salt water or it can pull from the freshwater supply on the boat. All three cabins have their own head and the heads all work the same, salt or fresh. The port side cabin has access to its head, which is, uh, can be used as more of a day head. And we've also uh, put in the red light here. So if you're coming uh, down from uh, cruising and you wanna get into the head and turn that light on, it's just gonna be red, a really nice feature. And then into this aft cabin, you see a nice large berth with windows and then there's those white thermostats and electrical outlets we were just talking about. The cabins also have the same style recessed LEDs and then also have a few portholes for ventilation. Moving over to the starboard aft cabin. This one has access also into the engine room where your stern thruster is located and a few breakers, but it also has a large berth, storage, and then its own private head with its separate shower. We'll take a look into the engine room. Opening up this door, Inside the starboard aft cabin, you have access into the engine room where you can actually stand on this platform. And aft, there is the stern thruster, as well as breakers. With the Schieber panel on the boat, the little touch screen at the nav station is going to control changing and turning on and off your generator, changing source of power, but you can also do that manually from this area. 
And then there's a light switch. Turn off the light inside there before we close it up. There are a few access panels on the sides of the engine room. You can see a couple here and a really easy access over the front of the engine by lifting up on the companionly steps. So this boat has the Ganmar 170 horsepower turbo diesel and then Onan Cummins generator aft of it. In San Diego, we added Recor fuel filters to both the generator and the primary engine. The dual Raycores are really nice with the clear bowls. You can see the fuel and they're also easy to change. From the factory, the boat, uh, you can have the automatic fire suppression. And then you can see a couple of large fans in this engine room as well. This is the sea strainer for the um, raw water going through the engine. Nice location to check quickly. And then a few LEDs under the steps, which is really nice. And while we're looking up close, this is custom carpet that we did here in San Diego with Sanchez carpeting. So we were able to choose the color of the carpet and also where all of these cut out, cutouts are located. The 62 floor has a, a storage compartment underneath. So not having to pull back the carpet to get to that door is really convenient. and something we were able to do custom um, here in San Diego with Sanchez. Thanks for watching this video of the custom ordered Veneto Oceanus Yacht 62 here in San Diego. I know it was a long video and I'm glad you made it all the way through. Uh, if you'd like more information about this boat or any uh, Beneteau product, feel free to reach out to me anytime, and I look forward to talking to you soon.